recognized. Mr. Chairman, thank you for yielding time. And Madam uh, Chairman, uh, I rise in support of this bill, the Military Construction Veterans Affairs Bill 4016. In doing, I want to, uh, in doing that, I want to congratulate uh, Mr. Dent, Chairman Dent, the new chairman of this subcommittee. This is his maiden voyage as chairman of this subcommittee. He's, he's a cardinal now, and he's done a great job putting together this bill. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Bishop, the ranking member on the other side, for uh, his cooperation in making this bill uh, what it is today. This is the first bill of the process, uh, and I'm pleased that we are off to a very early start. I'm told the earliest start since 1974, continuing our good work from last year. I'm optimistic that we're going to have a successful appropriations year, finishing on time and under regular order. We're beginning the year on the right with a bipartisan bill, Madam Chairman, that I believe we can all get behind. The Fiscal 16 Military Construction and uh, Veterans Affairs Appropriations Bill uh, includes, as has been said, $76.6 billion in discretionary funding for important veterans, benefits, and services, and for the infrastructure that supports the brave men and women serving in our armed forces and their families. This is a total of $4.6 billion over last year. Uh, no one can call this a cut and be realistic about it. We've increased the funding by $4.6 billion year to year. Now, we can't say that for all the other bills. Yes, we went overboard with what we had to work with in providing funds for the veterans and for military construction. That's a demonstration of our commitment to our war fighters, to our veterans and their loved ones who've sacrificed so much to protect this great nation. Now, within the total, uh, the bill includes $7.7 .7 billion for the DOD's construction projects in the U.S. and around the world, uh, which provide our service members with the infrastructure they need to remain at the ready. The legislation also provides a total of $68.7 billion in discretionary funding for the Department of Veterans Affairs. That's a 5.6 percent increase over last year to guarantee the VA has the resources they need to care for every single qualified veteran, including meeting growing health care needs. To that end, VA medical services are funded at $3.5 billion above current level. Uh, that will treat uh, 6.9 million eligible patients providing mental health care, helping prevent suicide, and supporting research into prosthetics and traumatic brain injuries, among numerous other health initiatives. However, it is critical that we make sure the VA is being responsible with these taxpayer dollars. It's clear that the VA is facing some considerable management challenges. And so this bill provides the oversight that will hold the department accountable for its mistakes and takes the necessary steps to address and correct these problems. <coughs> for instance, uh, the bill keeps a close eye on how the VA is spending its construction dollars by requiring reports <coughs> on construction costs, savings, and changes in scope. This is a good bill. Madam Chairman, I urge its adoption. Thank you. The gentleman from Pennsylvania.